Hi everyone, I have got my boxy charm that you've seen at the bottom of my bed for a while. This is from January and we're into February, but you know, one by one, I'm going to get through these boxes and I hope that you stick around and join me and share with me what kind of goodies I got in this box and then tell me how to use them because we all know that hashtag Nancy has not a clue what she's doing when it comes to skincare. So anyway, I hope you stick around and join me and I'll be right back. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome back to my channel. To my viewers, my subscribers, thank you, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. It means the world to me to have you support and to have you stop in and visit from time to time and click on like and give me comments and help because we all know hashtag Nancy knows not, doesn't have a clue what she's doing when it comes to skincare. And I need all the help I can get. So, and if you are new to my channel, I hope that you click on that little red subscribe button over there. I would love to have you come back and join me for future videos, so don't forget to tap that notification bell. And yeah, so anyway, we have got my January boxy charm. And you know, I just did my boxy luxe from December a couple of days ago, right? So yeah, one by one, I'm going to get through these boxes. Yeah, one by one. But first, I got my coffee. I am loving my Smart Sips coffee. This one is white chocolate raspberry. Oh my gosh, it is so flavorful. You can really taste that sweet raspberry. Just a little hint of white chocolate and a little bit of coffee. It just, it's like the perfect blend. I have no idea how they do it, but I'm gonna leave a little card up here uh, for the Smart Sips coffee. It is, oh, I love it. I just love relaxing at the end of the day. And actually, I took one to work today. I had uh, one of my caramel mocha lattes at work today. It was good. Ah, so good. But anyway, we are here for BoxyCharm. So what I have here today is my base box, which is $25, and I get five full-size products. And they say the value should average around $175, and it just kind of depends on what you put in. I think, and I don't remember, you think you would remember, but you don't. I think I get to pick one item, and I remember the item that I picked. I just, I didn't like any of the choices, but you had to pick one, so I picked one, but I just remember this box just didn't seem like it was going to be something that I was really going to like, and from what I've seen from other unboxings, I think a lot of other people had that kind of same feeling about this box. It wasn't their best box, but you know, you're going to get that value. There's probably something in here that's going to be worth that $25 that I spent, and I'm going to be happy with it. So let's get into it, shall we? Alrighty. So again, this is the January box, and I know we're into February, but I'm working on it. Yeah, box of charm. And nothing was broken, nothing leaked. I still have the foam in here intact. All the boxes are intact. Box of charm. Hello, Chama. And the card says, Boxy charm. Fresh start. And the back of the card tells you everything that's in the box, the MSRP value. And my code is our variation is Charlie2101004-BakerAdam. Alrighty. So here is the box. So I can see I have a palette and I've got some other goodies in here. And usually I like to kind of go in sequence just to kind of keep it easy to kind of read down my list here. But the first item is the palette. I'd like to save the palette for last. I don't know why. Alrighty, so this first item, it's a toner. And I don't use a toner, but maybe it's something I should think about adding. I know I've got some toners that are still in boxes in the other room that I, I've never used. I think and when I did Mary Kay years and years ago, what is that, 40 years ago now? Yeah. I think I used toner back then because that was just part of their process. But then I kind of got away from it. So maybe a toner is a good thing to have to maybe restore your pH balance. So maybe I will give it a try. Um, I just don't know when, with all the th other steps you do between cleansing and moisturizing and serums and under eye cream, just 
You do this before everything? Do you do it before you clean? Do you do it after you clean? So anyway, the brand is Pharmacy, and it's called Deep Sweep 2% BHA Pore Cleaning Toner. You can't see it, can you? So it says um, an alcohol-free 2% toner that gently exfoliates, it deep cleans pores, and controls oil without overstripping the skin. It's ideal for combination oil, oily or acne prone skin. The MSRP on this is $28. So just from this, I mean, I bought, this is already paid for my box with a little bit extra, right? And it is heavy. It is a glass bottle. So if you have used this, oh, and I forgot to mention this. So it's got moringa and papaya. It's got papaya. Yeah, I had to do that because I remember Lara from the Bargain Hunter opened something with papaya. And I thought, and I remember she was just kind of really cute when she said papaya. So when I saw that, it just reminded me of her. So I'm not cute like her, but I had to say papaya funny. So if you get this, let me know if you use it. And what step do you use it? Do you use it every night? Or maybe do you just use it on like nights that you're really too tired to do anything else? Yeah. And, and maybe that's something I should start doing. I don't know. So I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. Uh, next is like another thing that I was like, oh, what the heck? I don't know what to, I don't know what to do with this one either. So this is Apple and Balm. It's a glow lip mask. It says Seraphine Botanicals. And let's open this. So it says it boosts hydration and glow with this protective lip mask formulated with shea butter, apricot, plus shojaba or jojaba, and rose, rose hip oils that work center. I think they just make up words to make me stutter over them. So it does something to keep lips chap free, soothed and plumped all at once. It's made with green apple and pineapple extracts to help rid lips of unsightly dead skin cells and fine lines. The MSRP on this is $25. So it's a lip mask. So I've never used a lip mask. So it doesn't really tell me what to do. And I'm sure it probably says something on the back. So anyway, for a lip mask, do you just put it on and use it like a chapstick or do you put it on and then wait 20 minutes and then wipe it off or yeah. So if you use this, let me know how it works for you. Is it worth doing or is this, you know, is, is it for some people, but not everyone? Love to hear your thoughts on that. All right. So next we have this cute little lady on the top. So I'll have to figure out what this one is. Queen. Okay, so what are you? It says it's a dragon duo. Okay, so it says it's a modern day boss babe approved. I'm trying to read this and try to figure out how to open it at the same time. It doesn't always work so well. Uh, boss approved with an inky black pigmentation and a semi waterproof formula. Choose your look. Using the Dragon Duo, use uh, Dragon Liner Liquid for smudge-proof symmetrical wings or Dragon Liner for a pencil for a softer look or a smoky eye. Created for beginners, say no, I'm a beginner. Loved by pros. The MSRP on this is $28. It's really sneaky to get out. Alrighty, so what do we have here? I do like their insignia because of course I'm Love Queen. Alrighty. Alrighty, so this might must be the pen. The pencil part of it. So it does have a nice, nice smooth line. It didn't break apart. Drew across nice and easy. So and I do use black eyeliner. Sometimes I think it's a little harsh and then other times I like it harsh. Yeah, that didn't sound right, did it? I'm sorry. Especially if they were young children listening. Okay, so this is the liquid one maybe you can draw a nice line so and I do use some of these coal liners too um, the liquid liners so that is something I'm going to use so again this is $28 so something I know I'm going to use so that paid for my box that makes me happy 
Alrighty, this next item is one that I think I picked because it was like kind of the best one of the choices that they gave, but I'm really not sure if it's for me. So this is Pure 4-in-1. It's a tinted moisturizer. But it didn't give me a choice of color, so I'm not really sure. So it's got an SPF of 20, which is really good. So tinted moisturizer. So this says it's a multi-purpose, all-in-one, broad-spectrum sunscreen, moisturizer, primer, and foundation. With SPF 20, that's part of an effortless beauty routine for an ultra natural looking complexion the msrp on this is 35 dollars so if that is the shade well you can't see so maybe maybe it would work for me i, I don't know um you know it's not something that you can try and give away to someone right and it is sealed um but i, I, I like the idea that it's a primer a moisturizer and a foundation so I suppose if I try it and the color's not right for me, then I, I know maybe to go to the website and maybe order a different color, whether I need to go darker or lighter. So that's that. And now for the Pisa de la Resistance, the palette. And I've seen some people get this and it really does look pretty. So this is the Violet Floss, the All of You Forever. I love you forever. Kind of goes with the hat, right? Yeah. Alrighty, so we've got this box, which may may not open. You know, I like those little push ones because they're so much easier than these little flaps. Alrighty, we got it. It's got a box I can't get into. Some of them are just a little harder than others, a little more challenging. Alrighty, so it looks the same. And, and the colors here are are pretty so we got some nice olive tones here kind of like kind of like a mauvey rust colors and we got some nice shimmers and then a nice black that you can use for a liner or to smudge things out sometimes when i use a uh sometimes a pencil or a liquid liner um it just kind of doesn't look like it settles right so then i might dip um you know that really thin a brush and like the black shadow or dark shadow and just kind of smudge it over and it just kind of helps set it a little bit maybe it's got me crazy maybe it's me maybe it's something that works maybe it isn't but anyway i think i am going to love this i'm not going to swatch it but maybe i will try to do a look with it and take a picture and then put it in my next boxy charm video which probably should be coming up just so you can see but most of the time i mean i think i've got my eye shadow on and i put it on about seven o'clock this morning and it's 9 30 at night um and it's still there it's just when i look in the bathroom mirror it's really dark but when i come in here i just kind of feel like i'm, I'm a ghost so we'll see but anyway let's read what it says about this beautiful palette so again this is the violet boss it says this palette was designed with universal, universally flattering olives and hues that complement one another flawlessly. It's packed with the most luxe formulas from creamy mattes, mesmerizing metallics, and impeccable foils. Achieve endless eyeshadow looks from a modern, soft, sultry to a seductive. Wouldn't, seductive? Wouldn't that be nice for Valentine's Day? to a seductive olive smoky eye that will have them green with envy. So the MSRP on this is $34. And again, I think I'm gonna like using this and having some fun playing with the colors. And if I had more camo, I think if you, if you were a camo girl and you had a lot of camos, I think this is like the perfect palette for that. Yeah. Alrighty, so everything in my box totaled $150 this month. And I guess it really just kind of depends on what they pick for you. Um, and I picked that I wanted to be more heavy on skincare, but maybe if you were one that picked and you got more makeup in your box, so maybe that, but skincare is expensive too. It just kind of really fluctuates all over the place. And yeah, but um, yeah, I'm having fun with this uh trying different looks with the different palettes that i've been getting not that I, they kind of all look the same when you see me they kind of all look the same 
and uh, yeah so I'm interested to know what you guys think of this toner if you've been using it do you see a difference using it um, what step do you use it on do you use it every day if you got this foundation uh, that has the primer and the sunscreen and the moisturizer in it um, do you have it do you is it uh, does it apply really nice I use a brush when I use mine uh, put on my liquid or pasty foundations whatever it is uh, the lip mask I've never used a lip mask so interested to know do you use it like a lipstick or do you put it on and then have to wipe it off the uh, eyeliners yeah those are pretty self-explanatory I, I don't think you need to tell me how to use them but unless you see me doing something majorly wrong please tell me and then of course the all of you forever palette love the name on this so that is everything that I got in my boxy chum January so I'm excited to still be getting this like I said I didn't think it was going to be the best box for me but I'm going to love using this palette I'm going to definitely use um, the eyeliners probably going to give this a try and so these are my two iffy items so anyway thanks again for joining me everyone I truly love each and every one of you I am so blessed to have you in my life I hope you give this video a thumbs up and I look forward to reading your comments and until then have a great day. Bye-bye.